Hi, welcome back to Kendall's Greenhouse. I just showed you in the last video, I'll link it below, um, how I chose plants for the kitchen garden. And then today I'm just gonna show you how we planted those up and what they look like about a week later after planting. Welcome to my kitchen garden. We are right outside my kitchen on a deck and I've been growing some plants here and I wanna show you what I planted and all the new things that I'm adding here in the middle of September for a nice fall garden. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so I think it makes the most sense to remove the plants that I don't want in here first. So I got some supplies, I got some snips, um, this is more like for planting, some new clean snips and um, a jar of water, especially for the parsley that I'm about to harvest. Um, I'm gonna put it in there. So I'm trying to be kind to my back. Let me see if there's a good way for me to harvest this parsley. So I'm just gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the stem for bigger stems. Oops, got a piece of cot in here and snip them off. If there are newer stems, I'm going to leave them to mature. So I'm clipping off these nice long stems like this and putting them in my jar of water. This is going to leave room for new stems to grow. I could just come through and probably harvest it like this, but I have the time to go slow so that I don't snip the new ones off. So I'll go through and do this and then I'll show you a close up um, so you can see the areas that I cut and the ones that I chose to leave the new babies that are coming up from the base. It smells good. All right, let me take a little break and get these in the jar. Make sure they're mostly oriented the right way. That is a lot of parsley. Let's keep going here. I'm gonna crouch down so I can see a little better. I think I cut this one on accident. And there's a big one here. Okay, I think that's good. So let me take you over there. To see closer. You can see in there there's parts that I cut and then there's new smaller leaves coming out. Okay. So I'm also going to remove that dead plant and I'm going to remove that jasmine to be planted in the backyard. All right, I'm also going to pull out this basil. We can harvest the basil off of there. And we're gonna pull out the fuchsia. Yeah, this fuchsia did almost nothing with its roots. It just kind of died and then started to come back a little. So we'll put that there. Is that it as far as removals? I think so. So now we're gonna take a look at the whole thing and decide where we're gonna put everything. So there's the whole wall and I'm gonna walk around and set plants where I think I want them to go. We can move this stuff around later. Let's just get them started. I don't actually know what the sunniest spots are. Let's do this over by the rosemary since that oregano died. Maybe it got too hot. Well, I got another parsley. Let's do a parsley section over here. And then I have two tarragons. Where do we want to go, tarragons? Let's start them over here and move them later if we need to. So these things are going 
to the greenhouse. I think I'm going to put this rosemary in the greenhouse too because it says zone nine. I don't have stuff with a lot of height over here yet. I'm going to do that. Okay, I definitely bought way too many things. I'm going to think about that and think about where they should go. There is a snail. freaking out okay the back snail. to here back to here i think that yeah no i think the snail got run over I'm to get it just in time r.i.p snail oh boy right now need as little as possible All right, get the seeds out of here. We don't want the seed pods because those will germinate. Leaves are fine. These are thicker leaves, but I'd rather not have seed pods. Dust the edges just as we're walking through the house. Okay. Put the pepper plant in here. Let me see. I think I know how to do this. Hold okay. Um, get the, go get the spade over there. So, piquito hot pepper, I'll take this out and stick it in the edge. And then you squeeze a little bit, right, to loosen it. And then let's prepare a hole. So we don't want to like make everything spill everywhere. So what do you think? Okay. So, so a lot of people will take the soil that they remove and then they'll put it in the container. It's kind of messy. So, oh, we're not done with that. That's, is that a big enough hole to put this in yet? Nope. No. So I would rather, can I have it for a second? I would rather like, if it's moist, it'll kind of go up the sides like that don't you break up the roots I'm not well let's take a look how do those roots look do they look spinny and bound or they look just kind of like normal roots they're a little bit spinny okay so if, like this one's a little spinny so you might loosen that that's the only thing you'd loosen if they were like spin 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 so this is not going to get that huge it doesn't have time do you want to sprinkle this around fill in the gaps okay. and then we can bring in the stuff that we mounded and press okay so we'll decide where to put this I was kind of thinking about doing it out here so it gets more sun I don't know if it'll actually get more sun. Okay, so let's do the Mexican mint marigold in one, and let's do the sage in one. Can you get another pot up there, please? Those are the other two we're gonna put in their own pots. Pot, oh. container, container to hold plant right here. Okay. What are we gonna do? Do you wanna, this seems like it has firmer roots. Go back to your spot. Do you wanna try to loosen, squeeze this a little bit and loosen it up? All right. So 
So take the tag out and put it in the corner of the pot. Okay, so let's take a look at these roots. That's more what we were talking about. You see how it spins? So yeah, you kind of pinch it and break it. It takes a surprising amount of force, doesn't it? You said a little like Darth Vader. Well, that's because my nose is like... And this is also sage, and we know sage is pretty hardy, so it can take a little bit of abuse. Those are looking more straight up and down now, right? Yeah. Okay. So that should be good. Let's... We're looking at the top line here, and we want it to line up with the top line in the pot. Looks like we could use a little more soil in here, but I think that'll be fine. Okay, final pot. All right, let's do... So this isn't coming out when I just pull gently, so I'm gonna squeeze. So I don't wanna pull really hard here because if I break the base of the plant, it's like pretty much dead. Well, no, because it, it would still have the roots. Well, it depends on the plant. Some plants can come back from that and some can't, right? True. So this one's not too bad. A little bit of roots. Rootsage. And you know it's even easier than using a spade in this situation because we just put the soil in. You just like move it to the side. I'm done. I mean, we're done. We have all those other pots to do. Oh. Let's see. They have a view of the greenhouse. All right, those will be fine for now. Those are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Self-watering containers so they don't have drainage holes. So I can't leave them out here all winter. I'm just gonna leave them there for now. And then I'll be able to transfer them to the greenhouse. So let's plant this container. Can you get the trowel, please? All right, so. No, no don't go after that. Oh, man. Dang it. That sucks. Is it in? No. As long as it's not in. We're gonna clean up this time. Over here, it looks like the roots came up a little bit on this side. Um, let's put some scallions in this one too. Will you grab me the scallion container from the end? Can you see the one that looks like green onions on the end? Uh, oh yeah. We'll put some scallions in the front. All right, let's see. These look maybe separable. Ooh, it smells oniony. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so I'm separating these. Probably unnecessary. Doing it anyway. Unnecessary stuff. Um, yeah. It's kind of satisfying to pull them apart, though. Well, it's, it's uh, joyful, yeah. so it depends on 
how high of a priority the the joy is. Okay, we're gonna drape these this direction. Those look fancy already. Okay, so then we'll do a regula in the back. What's our regula stitch? Can I separate these? Oh yeah, super easy. Um, how much dirt touching are you wanting to do? Not a lot. Okay. I can do some, but like mostly no. I think I can put some more plants in here. I've got cilantro. Oh, you know what tall thing I'm gonna do is this. Let's see if we can separate some of these rainbow chard. And then we can put a tall one of these in the back. Was it a wasp or a bee? It's over here by me. It's thanking me for planting it to more plants. It's grateful. You don't think so? Why would it be? It relies on plants for its life, kind of. Yeah, I think it wants to be in your video. I need your help. Can you come hold this for me? I need you to hold this right here. No, it's gonna go in mine. It's gonna. Go in mine. Did it go in? Uh, it's it's okay, like thanks. literally on the edge. French peppermint and penny royal. Squeeze. Does smell interesting. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to shove dirt up here in the side since I'm planting this as a draping plant. That means the root's going to be pretty high. I'm going to need to add some more Oops. soil around the edge. Okay. Very nice. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go to the next one. I lost my helper. Okay, let's put this tarragon in the back corner. It's pretty nice, robust root system. All right, there are chive seeds planted in here, but I think they've pretty much decimated them at this point. Let's put the other tarragon here. Okay, I'm pulling on this and it's not coming out, so I'm gonna go back in and loosen again. Um, I'll check the bottom if there's roots coming out. Sometimes it needs a little kick in the pants. It's loose, very loose roots. Okay, so I'm planting it and I'm making sure not to cover up any of the new growth at the base. Here my baby chives, so I'm gonna try not to disturb those. Dig a hole right next to them for my fern leaf dill. Nice root system. Not too spinny. Okay, I'm gonna push some dirt into the corner. Okay, so there's a chive here. Probably could have planted that dill a little deeper, but it's fine. Looks like I've got chives to do in here. And I think arugula. And we'll put one here maybe. Let's do here. We can do some chives in front of it. All right, let's see if we have any luck dividing these. Roots are coming out. It's very firm. Got some cleanup to do here. All right, that is a root system. Okay, I'm breaking all of the base, breaking all that stuff off, and then we're gonna try to loosen it up here. It smells very oniony. These might be too mature of plants to really divide much. I should get at least two though, I feel like. I might need to snip them. There we go. All right, I think that'll be fine. These are kind of love each other now. I think they want to stay together. some here and then maybe between the tarragon and the dill here and we're going to remove the flower head might be even be seeds in there clean up the Time. All right, we are good there. One more. Great. 
All right, this is kind of an awkward one, so we're gonna do an awkward angle on it. new roots on there. All right, we're gonna squeeze these. Look at that cute baby. Can you see it? It's so cute. Should have planted the carrots first and then the Green onions. Okay, let's clean up and water. Harvested some onions, carrots look fine, parsley looks happy, cut it back and it's growing nicely. Mint is super happy, baby's in there. Chives, arugula perked up. Tarragon looks pretty happy. Basil is still very happy. These things still need more soil. Looks pretty happy. These onions got perky. Looks like this chard is perking up a little. That's good. And the cilantro looks pretty good. There's a little doggo sunbathing down there. These 
things look fine. Hi, Luke. Thanks for joining me here at Kendall's Greenhouse. Um, I have some more videos planned for you, but just wanted to finish up showing you about my kitchen garden. Um, I think I might make a video for you about how and why I chose those particular plants for my garden. So let me know in the comments below if you want to know a little bit more detail about what made me make those plant selections for this fall herb garden. Hope to see you again in the greenhouse soon. Bye. Oh my gosh, that's good.